Alrighty guys, today I'm going to be redoing my uh, battery box here. Um, basically it's falling apart and also when I started building it, uh, I was using a jigsaw, just a hand jigsaw to cut cut the wood. So as you can see it's very uneven. So I want to redo this. <clears throat> so here I got another piece of wood right here. Um, as you can see, let's measure it. See how thick it is, just to give you an example. Uh, we'll do it in centimeters. So it's about, actually it's about three millimeters. So about three millimeters thick. Yeah, okay. Three millimeters thick. All right. And so, so it's going to be a little bit thicker. The top's going to be a little bit thicker than the previous top that I use. Um, that way it's a little bit more sturdy and heavy duty. Uh, but today we're going to be using the Blade Runner from uh, by Works. Uh, it's a Blade Runner 2 tabletop um, saw. And inside here you can see I still haven't mounted my batteries and stuff. It, um, I'm also going to be cutting the, uh, making the cut a little bit smaller. Um, the length of the, the uh, battery box here is a little bit too long. So I'm going to be cutting, um, cutting the uh, piece here horizontally as well as vertically. So I'm going to be cutting down the middle here. I'm going to probably take off about four or five inches or something from here. Uh, we'll see what it, um, what it looks like once I cut it. But uh, yeah, the jigsaw is not good for even cuts. Tabletop Blade Runner, awesome for even cuts. So, without further ado, let's get started here. I'm going to go ahead and move our, actually, loosen that up a little bit. There we go. Move our guide down. Tighten it up, and if I can remember correctly, gotta uh, get this all even out right here. Gotta make sure it's right where I want it. Alright, lock these clamps down. I'm hoping I got the right measurement because I had to take this off earlier this um, guide right here because I was uh, cutting some bigger pieces of wood that I needed so a little bit too big so I had to take this guide off all right let's drop this down I just protect it from bouncing around all right so let's see well, it's about a little shy of 11 inches in width so we want that right there to match up to the cut and wow can't believe my first time first uh setting it on here without really trying to gauge it got it right okay so let's make sure this is completely level all right so let's take this off <laughs> Alright, so it's not probably not gonna be perfect. Maybe a couple like one or two millimeters, probably only like one meter uh, millimeter off. Should, should look like it. I don't even know why I did that. Alright, let's plug it in and start cutting. This is gonna be my second attempt here guys at the battery box. Um like I said it's gonna be smaller because I realized I didn't need that much room in here, but uh I mean I could just put the top back on and reuse that. Uh, keep that here in the office and then this uh, this one that I'm going to be cutting and making is going to be for like out in the living room or something um, or I could take it with me in the, in the truck when I go somewhere when we go camping or something like that alright so it's going to be really loud so if you have microphones or you have the volume all the way up turn it down or I could just fast forward through this probably probably do that for you guys
We are finished. Alright, let's measure it. Basically, exactly where I want it. Okay, that's good. And then, perfect. All right, good. All right, so there is. I'm not sure if I'm, these are going to be the top pieces or the side pieces uh, for the box. So, as you can see, I got two side pieces right here, and then I have the top, which is laying right here, and then I got the bottom as well. Um, I'm thinking these might be the side pieces and the uh, top and front, uh, back and front, I'm going to use a little bit thicker wood that I have laying around, so, alright, so yeah, basically there's a demo, pretty good, um, actually, I have two same size pieces of these right here, and I, uh, they were, they're basically all long, and all, I basically cut these in half, so, uh, this wood is about, I don't know, let's say, maybe half an inch, yep, a little over half an inch actually, a little over half an inch. So, table uh, tabletop top cut it pretty easy. So, so this is going to be the second attempt at my battery um, battery box here for my DIY battery bank. Uh, I'm going to be redoing everything, all the batteries, uh, the cables, the connectors. Um, basically, what I'm going to be doing is uh, rigging up the batteries so that I get more amps. Um, more amp hours out of the batteries because right now I have them uh, hooked up in series which gives me a lot of voltage um, but doesn't give me that many amp hours so definitely gonna need amp hours if I want to run um, certain things uh, for a long time so set that over there and then basically this box that I uh, my first attempt I'm gonna just put this top back on somehow and uh, use that for like a secondary um, battery bank system um, but I'm definitely going to probably use a different hinge because this is actually just like a padlock hinge right here um, that I had laying around so I just super glued it on there uh, hot glued it on there so it worked for a while but um yeah I'm definitely gonna have to come up with something else uh, to use for a hinge for the door so all right guys uh, thank you for watching I just did a demo on uh, cutting some wood here of the Blade Runner 2 uh, I haven't really done a demo video or a review video of this yet so uh, there it is